Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube, or if you're new here, hello, hope you're all doing well. So this week's a bit of a random video, it's more like a vlog of what we've been up to in the house and also getting you up to speed with our progress. Um, exciting news, Dan has just finished his course and I've just finished my masters. So I know I say this every time, but we are gonna be back now with some more consistent videos. So if you like our content, it would mean the world to us if you could like and subscribe and we hope you enjoy the video. Just went to Wix, picked up some paint samples. That's what we've got. So these are the masonry paints on the outside. Um, they're currently doing a bit of sale at the moment, so we've got some we've got sandstone, we've got white and a cool grey. Uh, we're not sure which one. We weren't going to pe paint really the want. exterior right away, but well, plans change, so we're just going to see what they look like. Um, we'll film it and see what you guys think, which one you think is the best. We want like an off white colour, not yeah. a brilliant white, so keep you posted. But that was a fun bank holiday trip. These are the two colours that we're really deliberating on. The left is sandstone and the right is chalk white, I want to say. This lighting's not great, but it looks kind of pink, which is um, what I'm a bit worried about. So, to be fair, not much has changed in the living room. We've been doing all the rewiring. We've pulled up the floorboards. Um, why did we pull, pull up the floorboards? Oh, because we had some um, woodworm and that's pretty much all we have done for the living room and then this is probably the biggest change this was the kitchen and then we had a separate dining room and we have now taken out this wall and we are repairing it but it's a work in progress as is everything ah uh, no i've got music playing copyright okay i'll have to edit that and then obviously all the carpets have been stripped we've kind of been having a go at um, stripping the banisters on the stairs to be honest that's not my finest work and then we go upstairs obviously we've done a bit of plaster work where necessary uh, here's all the rewiring that we're kind of nearly finished doing um, in some of the places you can see we do have the new light switches in which are covered in cling film ready for when we eventually do the painting. This is the bathroom, ripped everything out, we've put the wiring in for the new spotlights. Uh, we spent oh, honestly three weeks putting in this tile back aboard ready for tiling. Still can't pick tiles. Um, here is where we try to micro cement because we really wanted to micro cement the bathroom but to be honest it just looked shit um, this wall needs sanding ready for painting that's the bathroom and then this is the front bedroom which is basically the storage room we picked up a second hand kitchen on Facebook marketplace which is currently in here and some of my clothes are in here um, this room is Probably the room with the most progress. All the walls are sanded, ready for a mist coat. We're now covering up the cracks, which has been a nightmare. This had the chimney breast in, which has been removed. And then this part of the wall where you can see the line here, this had to be rebuilt. And that's all the footage that we lost of us doing that. So that was really cool. Uh, we've had a go with a heat gun stripping the doors, but that's just going to be too long. And we now have um, cling strip stuff there to strip the door frames and then the same in this room really um here's a bit of the door i did earlier but basically uh, a long way to go still Sunday morning, screw fix! Or tool station, undecided, maybe both. Also, we could pop into Ren Kitchens and have a quick mooch. No, we've been there before. No, we went to Magnet, we haven't been to Ren. Mm. Okay. Will I get my own way or not? Um. Okay, we actually went back and swapped the lights because we had a moment of oh. 
clarity. Clarity. And we've got outdoor lights with sensors on now. So we basically just had the same light, but without the sensor. But because they're outdoor lights, how often will you actually... We were thinking when we're sat in the house, are you going to switch your outdoor lights on? What's the point of them? It's better to have a sensor for the robbers or for when and just, for when you're you just, coming back. Yeah, just get your keys out. Anyway, these are Swish. Nice, I think they were 20 something pounds each, which I think really good from Screwfix. Yeah. So, ooh, doing some actual installation of nice, pretty things is exciting. Mm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daddy. Happy birthday to you. Trophy, we don't good enough for you, surely. That's in. No, go. It's open. Well, you can. Uh, right. Oh, oh okay. Brilliant. Taping up our new windows. Good hey, morning. Oh, he's tired. Cranky. Dan's updated room of doom. We have a mist coat on the walls, which I do apologise for the lighting. It's not the best, but yay. White walls. Another room with white walls. Our uh, doors are all lined up today because someone's coming to like, collect them, to strip them. Um, it's so expensive to replace the doors and for 100 quid you just don't get a quali the same quality as these like solid, I think they're solid pine doors. And then we were trying to strip them ourselves, but the amount of cling strip you need just to strip one door, from a cost perspective, is actually way cheaper just to get someone to come and collect them. So that's what's happening today. That will be really great. Obviously, we still have to do um, like all the door trims. He's coming now. I'm going to ask him, like, oh, can you take these off and dip these as well? Or do we have to do those? Because I've started them upstairs, but it, it is really a painstaking process and I just think I mean look we just have so much to do to be honest it's probably not the most helpful job that I'm doing at the moment but whatevs and here are the stripped doors that have been returned done such a good job 30 pounds per door and that has saved us 30 weeks of torture trying to do it ourselves so happy with that now we just need to decide on some handles being debated. Down. So, Woo! Go down, down, down. 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 Switch the light <laughs> so we can see them. Ready? Whoa! Whoa, oh, you are. Big day. Big day. Let's do that room. Whoa! So we hope you enjoyed that video. That's just a kind of a recap of Dan. It just likes to creep in the back. <laughs> That's just a recap of what we've been up to. We are going to try and get these out a bit more regular to update you. Um, the main project at the moment is going to be the pipework for the new boiler. So we will keep you updated.